stronger the emotion that you have to some problem or condition or person in your life, the more you're paying attention to them. So they captured your attention. So you're giving your power away wow. to that person, right? Because they're capturing your attention. Wow. So then there's an energetic connection to every person, everything, everything in your past, present reality has your energy connected to it. So now mm -hmm. this is the significance. When a person really decides to be defined by a vision of the future instead of the memory of the past, the hardest part about it is all of a sudden becoming conscious and not making the same unconscious yes. choice. Mm -hmm. So then if you lower the volume to your frustration, to your hatred, to your anger, if you truly knew how to do that, if you lowered the volume to that emotion, you would take your attention off that person, which means you would begin to break those energetic bonds and now you're taking your power back. Yes. You're calling energy back to you and we've measured this and all of a sudden it builds this bigger electromagnetic field around the person's body. That's energy to heal. That's energy to create a new future with, right? And then if you didn't want to lower the volume to the emotion, then just take your attention off the person. And every time you take your attention off the person, if you became conscious of that, you wouldn't feel the emotion. Mm. Now the body though, has been addicted to that emotion right. because you're using that person yes. to reaffirm your addiction to hatred or frustration. Mm -hmm. And if that person died, you'd find another one. Mm -hmm. So then here you go now. So now you're in a position now where you